I went over and looked at where they're going to set this chute. And I'm really thinking that having this frame sticking out is going to be on their way. I thought I pinched that blade pretty good on that cut right over here. Made that cut and started on that one and it snapped. Not surprised. And of course I shut off the camera. Eh. I need to get myself a GoPro. The teeth are still decently sharp too. That's, I could have gotten a lot longer out of this blade if I just would have taken my time and shoved a shim in there. Oh well, too big of a hurry, I guess. But yeah, that's considering how many cuts I've made with this. I mean, I've done the majority of the cutting on this project with that one blade. So I am very, very happy with that. I think I'm getting to the point in the project where I need to just clean everything up, put all my tools back, reorganize, because I can't find half my tools half the time. Ugh. I had the strangest thing happen when I was cutting that square tubing. The bandsaw just quit cutting it. It went just a little bit and stopped. As a matter of fact, I think all the teeth are dull on that blade already. I made, what, two cuts or something with it now? And took it over to the chop saw, and the chop saw acted up. It was really struggling to cut it. So I don't know, it's really weird because that cut next to it went through just normal. Zipped right through it. And tried cutting that little sliver off and could not get through it. So I don't know. You know, sometimes there's just bad spots in iron, and that's just how it goes, right? Kind of jumping around trying to figure out what the heck I need to do worser. I was going to start in on this gate and then I realized I really want to get these steps done. So I really think I should get the steps done next. That I think that feels like more important than anything else.
Well, I didn't completely think that through. Uh, if I slide it back to where I can bolt the top hole here to that hole, the step is hidden quite a bit under the platform above it. So you only have just, you know, half the step sticking out. You can't get your foot on it. So I need it out there to be able to stand on it. Uh, which means the angle iron don't come all the way up there, but I don't know. I'll think it over and figure out what the heck to do to fix it. I'm not going to show any more work today. I've got a high school kid coming over to help me in the afternoons now. So I'm not going to film while he's here. So I'll just give you an update of uh, where I'm at after that. So I'll bring you back tomorrow morning, I guess. Well, I had the young man weld on all these caps on top of all these pipes up here. Let the young ones climb around up there and do the welding, right? And I had him put in this pipe here. So he did those things while I ran the bandsaw and started cutting out all the pieces for gates. And I'll see if uh, he'll give me permission to put this in the video, but this is his first ever uphill weld with MIG. I didn't realize I never went uphill in uh, high school classes, at least the one he's in. So, that's not bad for his first ever one, I don't think. Very respectable. I think he's a pretty good little welder. Your butt on YouTube. Spot on. It is square. Yay. I didn't put the brace in the middle of the gate here like this pipe is because I want to go ahead and hang the gate and then put the pipe in that way I know that I have the height right because my luck I'll do something silly and you know measure the inside of the pipe instead of the top or whatever you know and get them wrong but I'm ready to slide it in there and weld it in place
moved on me. Oh, holy cow. Man. Ah. I must have bumped it when I was welding because I had that pipe where the hinge is perfect with the other pipe. And now it's way off. And it's making it swing funny because it raises up as it goes this way. See, there's a bottom to this. Sometimes one side of the sheet has some bad nicks in it. Yeah, this one's got a couple over here, so.
I have the sheet on that gate. I ended up not showing that because um, the battery died on the camera and I decided to not worry about waiting for it to charge and all that and get some work done. See if I can get you through here. Uh, see this gate allows you to Ah, nice. Nice acoustics there, eh? Uh, that gate allows you to get into the semi. Like, the semi would be parked right here. So you can come down the catwalk and into the semi. That really makes some noise. So next I want to do this gate that goes right here. Customers here, never mind. This is what we around here call a cowboy latch. The idea being if you're on a horse, you can grab the top handle clear up here, or if you're on foot, you can grab it down here. I thought this would be really nice in this application because if you're inside, you can grab that top handle and still get out. really easy to make and for this I thought it'd be great because you know I don't have to blow a hole in the gate or figure out how to get the latch accessible from both sides so there she is um, she is done uh, actually not quite I know a couple little things I forgot not gonna show that on camera though and next I'll show you moving this thing out of the shop how exciting Forgot to show this, I realized uh, I just put some pipe in here because I didn't want to spend a lot of time cutting the angle iron to the right dimensions and making it angled correctly, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I think it looks really nice. Kind of gives it a round corner that way. Makes that look good, I think. Well, as good as those rusty steps look. Man, I hate those things. The guy that I'm doing this for stopped then. He said, oh, I had some steps that are better shaped than that. I was like, dang it. Thought about calling him and asking him, and uh, I should have, but he said it's good enough. He said what I always say, cows don't care. <laughs> so, um, it's getting late in the day. I've been off doing other things instead of getting this thing out of the shop. As you can see, the sun is on the horizon. Well, 
on the horizon for me. But, you know, 130 foot hill there kind of hides the sun a little quicker than normal. But either way, it's still going to really affect filming it. So I'm not going to pull it out tonight. I'm going to go ahead and wait till morning. That way I have good light to film by because I want you all to see the, getting this thing out of the shop. It's an important part of the project. And looking around, I actually found a couple welds I missed and stuff like this. So a uh, couple things I got to do yet. It's funny though, I'm getting it out of here. Um, every customer that has come in the shop is like, how on earth are you going to get this thing out of the shop? I'm like, I'm just going to roll it out of the shop. It's not that big of a deal. Everyone's like, oh man, I'd never figure out how to move anything like that. I guess when you're in a trade and you have learned how to do this stuff, like you don't even think about it. And then somebody comes along and they're like, it's impossible to them. Like they just see this thing as completely impossible to move. I mean, yeah, it's a monstrosity, but it's not going to be that hard to move. Famous last words, ha ha ha, but nah, it shouldn't. All right, hopefully we'll see you in the morning. Here, big guy. Want some peanuts? You're out of frame. You're a slobbery dog.